Hello, this video will show how to call a function from script using uh, a button on a click event. So first I'll create a UI element, it's a button. Text mesh pro and it's ask me if I want to import TMP uh, essentials, I'll say yes. And okay, that's done. And we'll name the button uh, maybe on click button. Okay, I'll uh, change it to 2D so we can see. Okay, there we go. That's the canvas. Uh, we'll uh, change the text of the button to on click button and change the the size font size to 18 and maybe change the button background to green yeah why not and then we'll change the positions the anchor to be top left and the pivot to be zero on the x and one on the y and change the position to 15 for the x and minus 15 for the y okay so that's ready and then we'll create and uh, just for testing we'll create a new empty object under the canvas and we'll call it on click pop-up inside this empty object it would be a parent of two new objects one is a panel so we'll go create ui look for panel there we go and we'll call the panel on a click panel. panel. And um, we'll um, go to the panel, change the background to none, and change the color to similarly green. And um, uh, keep the anchor to the center keep uh, the pivot to the middle or point f oh sorry or point five on both the x and y and maybe change the width to 800 or maybe 600 and the height to 400 or maybe even less 300 okay and uh, i'll change the transparency to none Okay, and now create another a new UI object inside the group, and it's a text UI text mesh pro. There we go, and we'll call it on click text, and inside the text I'll just say on click button is in vogue, invoked okay and we'll change the size to 25 maybe and uh, the uh, vertex color to black and um, yeah that seems or maybe even the size less, maybe I'll keep it 20 and um, increase the width to 400 yeah that sounds fine and um, keep the alignment to the center okay so that's just for testing now we'll, uh, that's done I'll create a new script here and we'll name it on click and i will assign the script to the canvas 
object. Just make sure it's there. Yeah, there it is. And uh, so now I'll open the script. Here it is. And okay, so I uh, will create a public game object. We'll call it on click pop pop. I'll save that. Go back to the editor. And go to the script, which is under the canvas. Here we go. And here I could assign the new public game object to which I will drag the on a click pop up parents to. That's done. And while we are here, and I'll just make that uh, inactive or invisible. Okay. So we'll save that and we'll go back to the uh, script and I will add a, another uh, method, make sure it's public so we can as access it from the editor and of type void and maybe we'll call it click. And um, we'll call that object on click pop up. On click pop up dot set active, and we'll set that to. Sorry, we'll send that to true. That's it. I'll save that and go back to the editor. And now as uh, I go to the uh, button, I'm going to click button and go to add an event to which I will drag the canvas because the script, script on click script is attached to it. So I'll drag the canvas here. And now I could access the public methods inside that object. And in this case, it's on a click script, which is this one. I'll uh, access the script attached to it and then all the public methods uh, inside that script. And in this case, it's click, which is uh, here. Okay. Okay. So now once we click on the button, this function would be called and that function or method will check uh, change the active uh, status of on a click pop-up group to true. In other words, change the this status, which is inactive now here, to active. Okay, to test that, I'll hit play. And click the button. And there you go. The, the, the button has called the only click event on the button has called the, that method and that script. And that's it. This is how you can call a function from script using button on a click event. Thank you.